catch everything. There's a lot of us. And these are our parents. Let's go. It's just a bad thing, mommy. You're such a bad mom. Hello everyone, my name is Ifa Labi and welcome to another video. And today I'm going to talk about Kenya Barrisus's hashtag Black AF. If you don't know who Kenya Barris is, he's the creator of Blackish, Grownish, Mixed Dish. Now, I know a lot of people have had their qualms with Blackish more so grownish and then mixed dish i mean i enjoy them for what it is i try as much as possible not to like let my quibbles interfere with my viewing pleasure i'm going to read the synopsis of black af and then i'll go into my thoughts about the show here's a synopsis black af flips the script on what we've come to expect a family comedy series to be pulling back the curtain black af uncovers the messy unfiltered and often hilarious world of what it means to be a new money black family trying to get to right in a modern world where right is no longer a fixed concept. This is the number one thing about the show. It is blackish. Like this show is blackish, but with more cussing. Like that's it. And I understand that he's the same person that created blackish. So obviously if he's going to do like a mockumentary style, a la Kirby or enthusiasm, it's going to have a little bit of what was in all his shows. But Look, if I close my eyes and you take out the cousin, I will think I'm watching another episode of Blackish. This is because the topics they deal about is the same way the way Andre Johnson and Blackish feels about things is the way Kenya Barris and Black AF feels about things. It's just like, like there's nothing new. And that's my problem with the show. That's like my one big problem with the show. There is nothing new in the show. The show says nothing new about who Kenya Barris is because I feel like everything that he's showing to us in black af he's already shown it to us in blackish and it's just like if i watch blackish i don't need to watch this and for anybody that's going to come at me and tell me that well i don't understand it because it's based on his family i have no problem about doing a show based on your family that's the whole point of doing whatever it is you can do when netflix gives you a deal but when it's so much like blackish it makes me feel like you you don't you don't even want to try and it's just like why that, that, that's my number one question like why would you do this why would you do a blackish 2.0 but with more cussing and with more flexing basically black af takes this format that his second daughter that's drea barris is applying to new york university to their film department so she's supposed to submit a film as part of her application so she decides to do a mockumentary of her family but my one thing is that we don't get a sense of who drea is the one person that we see shine through the most is kenya barris when in actual fact, it's supposed to follow his daughter because she's the one doing the application. Once again, Blackish follows the voice of Andre Johnson because it's Andre Johnson giving his opinions about, you know, growing up from the hood. Now he's rich, he lives in this nice suburbia. Grownish is Zoe Johnson, who is now in the university and she has to deal with life and making choices in uni, what that means for her as a black woman, all of those things. Makes us follow Rainbow as a child coming from the commune and you know, in, trying to integrate into suburbia. But when, when I started watching Black AF, I thought, okay, I'm going to like listen to the voice of his daughter. You get the sense that she's like the sensible one, always making the right decisions. But apart from that, there's no nuance to her character. Honestly, if it was me, to make it make more sense, it should have been him saying, okay, right now I got a new Netflix deal and I decided to do a mockumentary following my life. Oh, let's see it. Because if that was the film that she's supposed to submit to film school, I just feel like if I was an admissions officer, I'd be like, eh. But what is your voice? Going into watching this television show, I didn't know what to expect. Nowadays, I try as much as possible not to read up on shows and things before I watch it because I feel like it biases me towards what to expect from the movie or what to expect from the television show. I don't want to bash, I, want, I don't want this whole video to be about me bashing the show that it's not great, it's not great, it's not great. It is a great show, it shows a very beautiful black family, you know, enjoying the fruit of their father's labor. What's not to like about that? But there was this episode whereby Kenya Barris went to meet Tyler Perry and then they were talking about, you know, creating movies for a black audience where the white audiences don't understand and it's like, well, you're creating a movie, you know who you're creating the movie for. So even if people criticize it, you're supposed to, you know, chuck the middle finger to them, you know, something along that vein, which I get it. But at the same time, when you have a black audience that is very fragmented and certain parts of the black audience feels like you're not being ingenious enough or you're not being creative enough or like we expect more from you i don't think you should throw all all of those voices into like the hater pool just because they don't understand what you're doing i feel like you should 
consider it if you're going in to watch the show it takes three episodes for it to actually like find its groove because the first three episodes actually bothers itself to find out like to be successful in this white world and i found it interesting that a show that was unapologetically black spent a lot of his time trying to explain blackness to the viewers when it presupposes that the viewers are supposed to be black so you don't have to explain what it means to be black to us i've had a couple of days to sit on the show to think about it and you know i could have gone all in to bash 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 i could have gone all in it's like it's great it's great television but you know i feel like if you claim to be a black voice and your voice is very alienating it's just like who are the black people you speak of now another thing that was that i found very weird about it was the little children talking back at their parents like they used to like cast at their parents call their parents dickheads and everything i was like wait you can talk to your parents like that so when you get rich your children can talk to you any way they want to interesting but i mean maybe this is the african in me talking but i felt like it was too over the top you know it wasn't as necessary as it should be my highlight was when they went on the trip to fiji okay that's balling who doesn't want to ball like that that's like my favorite part that whole two episodes trying to figure out where to go on vacation getting a private jet going to this very beautiful island i'm done with this video let me know what you thought about black af did you enjoy it what were your highlights of the show did you think that there could have been more or have you just stayed away from the whole show because you're like that's not your cup of tea and if it's not your cup of tea tell me why it's not your cup of tea you know i want to know the people want to know the masses want to know i want to know and so my name is ifa labi thank you so much for watching this video and leave me your comments down below don't forget to like share and subscribe this video and i'll see you on my next